In this video, I'll be talking about at a high level about this new MedSAM. What is MedSAM? MedSAM is a foundational model which is designed for medical image segmentation. Uh, this is from researchers spread across Canada and US. Uh, so this is about segment anything in medical images. So medical image segmentation is a critical component in clinical practice facilitating accurate diagnosis, treatment planning and disease monitoring. So this particular MedSAM was a foundation is a foundational model and it is you know trained on a large scale medical image data set with close to 1.5 million image mask pairs covering 10 imaging modalities and over 30 cancer types. So they also conducted a comprehensive evaluation of this MedSAM model on 86 internal validation tasks and 60 external validation tasks and this demonstrated better accuracy and robustness than modality wise specialist models. Okay. So as said before, segmentation is a fundamental task in medical image analysis, which involves identifying and delineating regions of interest. Okay. Uh, these regions of interest could be uh, organs, lesions, tissues, right? Now accurate segmentation, is essential for many clinical applications including disease diagnosis, treatment planning, monitoring of disease progression. For example, you want to look at the growth of a tumor okay, or you want to see if the tumor has shrunk post chemotherapy or radiation therapy. right? So you need to segment the tumor in images. So manual segmentation has been the gold standard. Okay, but the process is time consuming, labor intensive and often requires high degree of expertise. So there have been lot of deep learning based models which have shown great promise in medical image segmentation, but they are not generic. Okay, one of their limitation is they are task specific nature. So if there is a new modality coming in or a different kind of imaging coming in, then it kind of fails, right? Recently, uh, in last year, uh, Meta released a model called as Segment Anything. Okay, now essentially Segment Anything model is a promptable segmentation model that requires points or bounding boxes to specify the segmentation targets. Okay, it resembles conventional interactive segmentation methods and SAM had better generalization ability uh, compared to existing deep learning based interactive methods for segmentation. Okay. Now the question is, can SAM be extended to medical images? Right. So a lot of people tried on the making use of, you know, fine tuning SAM or segment anything model on medical images. The performance was satisfactory, uh, right. Uh, uh, it showed satisfactory segmentation outcomes on targets or, uh, you know, primary targets characterized by distinct boundaries. But there was substantial limitations in segmenting typical medical targets with weak, uh, with weak boundaries or low contrast. Okay, so SAM uh, could not uh, work on these kind of images. That is why uh, these researchers have come with MedSAM, which significantly enhances the segmentation performance of SAM on medical images. That is the idea over here. Okay. So here they are talking about, you know, their uh, data set. Okay. And this, uh, cr uh, the crucial aspect of this model is that it is, uh, it should be able to accommodate a wide range of variations in imaging conditions, anatomical structures and pathological conditions. So what they did was uh, they collected uh, this data set of close to a 1.5 million medical images. Okay, that is what they are uh, showing over here. So it has been trained on wide variety of images across wide variety of modalities. Okay, uh, so the data set covers a variety of anatomical structures, pathological conditions, medical imaging modalities. Right, so that is what they are showing over here. Uh, the magneta part over here is nothing but the uh, mask, right, uh, uh, which denote the expert annotations and MedSAM, um, Sam, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, results respectively so these are the results which they are showing over here you know how accurately it kind of uh, masks the, uh, basically it extracts or segments this region with respect to the uh, you know human segmentation right and with respect to the uh, modality distribution over here uh, if you see uh, these are various modalities like mr ct endoscopy ultrasound x ray pathology fundus uh, images uh, dermoscopy mammography and oct these are the number of images in each category of the modality over here this is an imbalanced data set for sure but they have tried to cover different uh, you know uh, clinical branches um, like uh, you know uh, gastroenterology a uh, lot of different uh, modalities um, uh, or say anatomies are covered over here okay so the ct and mri are 3d images so coming to that what they are saying is that uh, they are primarily they are developing a promptable 2d segmentation model okay and for 3d images you can consider 3d images as, as a series of 2d slices okay um, that is the idea over here and in sam you could uh, do free text based prompting for segmentation you could do point based prompting you could do bounding boxes but here they are using bounding boxes as prompts okay and their uh, architecture is same as um, you know meta sam architecture so there is an image encoder a prompt encoder and a mask decoder okay so the image encoder maps the input image into image embeddings a prompt encoder uh, uh, you know uh, it actually converts the bounding box prompts into you know uh, internal representation then there is a mask decoder which looks at this uh, bounding box prompts and the image embeddings to come up with your final segmentation okay so that is the idea over here so the model is similar to meta ai's sam architecture okay so that is about the model architecture which they talk about over here so the image encoder maps the input image into a high dimensional image embedding space the prompt encoder transforms the user drawn bounding boxes into feature representation via positional encoding there is a mask decoder which fuses the image embedding and prompt features using cross intention and based on that it it does the segmentation that is the idea so i'll not go into the performance and other things over here okay i'll not go into the details of that you can read through it and uh, you know so going to the conclusion part over here what they say is that uh, medsam is trained on a meticulously assembled large data set comprising of over 1 million medical image mask pairs and it demonstrates substantial capability in segmenting a diverse array of targets and they say the performance not only significantly exceeds that of uh, state of art segmentation model but also rivals or even surpasses specialist models for example if you had a specialist segmentation model for mr a specialist segmentation model for ultrasound or something like that this kind of uh, is equal or better than that okay that is the idea over here and uh, you know by providing precise delineation of anatomical structures medsam facilitates the computation of various quantitative measures that serve as biomarkers so they have some examples over here right like for uh, 3d tumor annotation process so you can calculate uh, tumor uh, progression and things like that okay and uh, what uh, they are saying over here is that this also provides a successful paradigm for adapting natural image foundation models like sam to new domains okay and this can be further fine tuned on say your imbalanced uh, data set because this is an imbalanced data set right if you look at um, the main set of images are ct mri endoscopy over here but there are smaller uh, modalities also so they can uh, you know if you want to improve this model you can fine tune on more images of same mammography so this particular uh, model can also be fine tuned to other biological images like microscopy images or organelle segmentation or uh, in say electron microscopy images things like that can be done okay so this is a limitation that there is a modality imbalance but fine tuning can overcome that 
Another limitation is when you have segmentation of vessel like branching structures, bounding box prompt becomes ambiguous because arteries and veins share the same bounding box in naive fundus images. It, this is an example. So here uh, MedSAM has learned rich and representative medical image features. So further fine tuning can improve it. That is what they are saying over here. Okay. So this is a very interesting paper. Uh, so if you are working in this field of medical image segmentation, you can definitely look at this paper and this fundamental model and see if it can be used in your particular uh, medical imaging tasks. Okay. So the best part is that the code is released. They have already released the model over here. Um, they have also explained over here on how you can train with your data, how to pre-process data and things like that. Right. Uh, they talk about that over here. They also talk about how you can train it on multi GPUs. They also have a collab notebook, which you can actually try. Okay. Um, so this is a collab notebook, which they have given. Um, so what, uh, here they've explained how you can actually try this model. Okay. So I actually tried it out, uh, over here. And uh, for this, you need to install this particular, uh, MedSAM from GitHub. Okay. And then they have some nice functions for visualization. Okay. They have some visualization functions over here, which can show you our uh, bounding boxes and visualizations. They also have the inference part over here, how to do the inference. There is an inference function over here. And then they talk about downloading the model and the data over here. How do you, you can actually load the model and how you can inference, how you can do, um, your image uh, pre-processing and model inference and visualization of the results. So this is an example which they show over here. This is the input image and bounding box, right? And this is the MedSAM segmentation. If you look at this particular image, there is this particular abnormality over here and there's a bounding box around it. And here is a segmented abnormality. Okay. So you can go and try out this um, notebook. You can make changes to this notebook to see with your own images if it is working as promised, right? Uh, so your input image should have this bounding box. Um, so yeah, so basically you need to uh, specify that along with the input images, the mask, the bounding box, uh, basically the bounding box uh, coordinates and you know, uh, you can try MedSAM segmentation. So this was a short video on MedSAM, which is a fundamental model for segment anything on medical images. Okay. So they also provide you a uh, graphical user interface where you can load the image and specify segmentation targets by bounding boxes. Okay. So you can actually download it on your machine and you can try it out. Uh, there is a step-by-step -step, uh, this thing, uh, your collab tutorial, but you can also run it locally. And um, you can have a GUI on which you can do this, uh, you know, you can, uh, what you call, mark the um, bounding boxes. And then uh, you can give this image to MedSAM and see how the results are. I hope this video on MedSAM is useful to you. I'll be putting the link to the paper uh, to the GitHub uh, repository. You can go and check it out. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.